Hello everyone. Welcome to BD24 Online Schools English class. Once again, this is Muhammad Shoydul Islam before you. In our last class, we discussed 12 tenses within 12 minutes. Now, we're going to discuss present simple, past simple, and future simple within only 5 minutes. And if you stay with me in these 5 minutes, I'll be able to make you understand present simple, past simple, and future simple quite easily so that you will be able to use these three structures in your day-to-day -day conversation, especially in your present activities. And besides, you will be able to ask questions as well. So let's Today we are going to start with present simple. And you know, in present simple, past simple, and future simple, we can use sentences, assertive, negative, and interrogative. Now, in my class, I'm going to discuss with you how can we make sentences in present simple, past simple, and future simple based on these three structures. So let's begin. First of all, in present simples, assertive sentence. The structure is subject plus V1, which is the base form of a verb, plus object. In past simple, the structure is subject V2, which is the past form of a verb, and then an object. And in future simple, the structure is subject plus will or shall plus V1, which is the base form of a verb, and finally, an object. So let's see some examples. In present simple, the example that I have written here is subject I, V1, love, object, to teach. So the sentence is, I love to teach. In past simple, subject I, then V2, loved, object, to teach. The sentence is, I loved to teach. And finally, in future simple, the sentence is, I, subject, will, V1, love, an object, to teach. So the sentence is, I will love to teach. So now, let's see the differences. In present simple, the difference is here. V1, in past simple, V2, and finally, in future simple, shall or will. The other things are same. Subject, object, subject, object, subject, object. So if only you remember to use V1 in present simple, V2 in past simple, and will or shall before v1 in future simple you will be able to make assertive sentences so let me tell you a note if the subject in present simple is he or she or a singular noun we'll have to put an s or es immediately after the verb see the example he not love loves he loves to teach I hope that you have understood assertive sentence in present, past and future simple quite easily. So let's move on to our next thing which is negative sentence. We also use negative sentences quite frequently. So let's see the structures first. We begin with a subject, then auxiliary verb do or does, then not. As it is a negative sentence, then V1, then an object. So let's see the example. Subject, we, do, not. V1, go, object, there. We do not go there. In past simple, we make negative sentence with a subject, then auxiliary verb, did, not, then similar with present simple, v1 and finally an object so let's see the example subject we did not go verb 
object there. We did not go there. And in future simple, we begin with subject, then will or shall, then not, then v1, similar to past simple and present simple, and finally an object. So the example is we will not go there. So dear viewers, have you noticed the differences? The difference is only in auxiliary verbs, nowhere else. In present simple, we use auxiliary verb do or does. In past simple, we use auxiliary verb did. And in future simple, we use will or shall before the negative word not. Do or does before not, did before, before not, and here will or shall before not. No other changes here. Only if you can remember using these auxiliary verbs do or does in present simple, did in past simple, and shall or will in future simple, you will be able to make negative sentences that you can use in your day-to-day -day conversation. And the last one, interrogative sentence. We have to make a lot of questions in our conversation. So interrogative sentence is very much essential to learn. So let's see the structure first. In present simple, we start interrogative sentence with an auxiliary verb, either do or does. Then we put a subject, then the base form of a verb, v1, and finally an object. So let's see the example. Auxiliary verb, do, subject, you, then the base form of a verb, read, and finally object, books. Do you read books? And an auxiliary sign as it is a question. So the sentence is, do you read books? In interrogative sentence, we start with an auxiliary verb, which is did, then subject, then v1, base form of a verb, and then finally an object. So the sentence will be did, auxiliary verb, subject, you, base form of a verb, read, and object, books. The sentence is did you read books? And in interrogative sentence, we begin with either will or shall, will or shall, then subject, then v1 and finally an object the sentence will be will then subject you v1 read and object books will you read books so let me show you the differences here we start interrogative sentence in present simple with an auxiliary verb which is do we start past simple with did and we start future simple with will or shall no change in anywhere else only in the auxiliary verbs we have to use do in present simple did in past simple will or shall in future simple and the note is if the subject is he or she or a singular noun we'll have to use s or es with the auxiliary verb here the subject is a singular noun rahim so the auxiliary verb will be does not do does rahim read books so dear viewers here i have shown you how can we use present simple past simple and future simple which you mostly use in our daily activities how can we make assertive negative and interrogative sentences of present simple, past simple and future simple and you have also seen that there are not much differences. In assertive sentence, the subject is v1, in past simple, the subject is v2 and in future simple, we'll have to use will or shall before v1. In negative sentence of present simple, we use an auxiliary verb after the subject which is either do or does. In negative sentences of present simple, 
we use do or does after the subject. In negative sentence of past simple, we use did after the subject. And in negative sentence of future simple, we use will or shall after the subject. So no change anywhere else. And finally, in interrogative sentence, we use do or does before the subject. In interrogative sentence of past simple, we use did before the subject. And in interrogative sentence of future simple, we use will or shall before the subject. So dear viewers, I hope you have understood where the changes lie in assertive, negative and interrogative sentence in present simple and past simple and future simple. If you can remember only these minor changes, I believe that you will be able to make sentences quite easily and effectively. So thank you for staying with me. Allah Hafiz.